Hi guys, Rob from Rob's Model Cars and today you join me for part 5 of how to build the Hobby Design DMC Lamborghini Huracan. Now if you've been following the build series, the last part I showed you how to uh, fit the uh, rear bumper onto the body of the model, um, which was this part here. Uh, and you can see here that I've actually painted the body now and I've done most of the reassembling as well. So. Uh, this colour is the purple to green uh, chameleon colour by Zero Paints. Um, pretty easy finish, I just painted the model uh, black first and then uh, four light coats of this chameleon colour. Um, and yeah, this was the first time I've used this type of colour paint and um, it looks pretty awesome. So depending on how the light hits it, uh, it changes colour. So really happy with how that came out. Um, and as I say, I've reassembled most of the body, so I've put the, the headlights back in, the front mesh grille parts, uh, obviously the doors are on, uh, mirrors, rear engine lid. Um, so basically, just follow the, uh, the steps of how I pulled this model apart to put it back together again. Um, these composite models go together really easy, uh, they're not too difficult, uh, and the fit and finish is uh, really good when they go back together. So. Uh, really happy with that step. Um, so, other than putting the model back together, the only other part of the hobby design kit that we need to tackle uh, is the wheels and the brakes. Now, as I mentioned, uh, you do get the new wheels, uh, the DMC wheels, with the hobby design kit. Um, and these are a direct replacement for the auto art wheels. So, if you've pulled auto art models apart before, you know it's basically impossible to separate the wheels from the brakes. Um, they have like a moulded in pin and you've basically got to destroy half of it to get it out. So what Hobby Design do um, is give you new, new hubs, new brakes uh, and some plastic pieces um, to basically use some of the auto art parts and discard the wheels. So this episode, I'm going to go through and show you uh, how to swap over the hubs on the auto art plastic wheel carriers, um, and then we'll finish up this model build all in this one video. So let's start with the rear. So um, this is made up of two parts. Uh, there's a screw in the top. If we undo that screw, that will release uh, the two parts. So we'll just take that out. Now underneath there is a smaller part. Um, this part we are going to reuse. Um, and this is the part which is in the Hobby Design Kit. Now as you can see it perfectly matches uh, the Auto Art version. So this you can use for another model or if you want to change the wheels on another Hurricane uh, or just use the brakes for another model. We're not using this whole section so um, you can remove that. And as you can see here, this lower section of the auto art model just clips into the hobby design part, just like the auto art one did. Uh, and what we've got is some new rear hub carriers. That's these squarish ones. Um, these are basically going to just fit into uh, if I can just find that, trying to do that on camera. Um, they just basically fit in like that and the new wheels and uh, brake calipers will attach to that. So um, I'll show you how to glue these together, but that's basically how it goes front and rear. Um, you will use half of the auto art plastic part and the other half is the new hobby design pieces. So you've got with the Hobby Design Kit, you've got six brake calipers. So you've got two, the biggest ones are the front ones. We've got two slightly smaller, which are the rear ones. And then we've also got the tiny ones, which are the parking brake calipers for the uh, rear wheels. So don't mix those up. We'll put those to the side, the large ones, because we're going to work on these uh, rear ones first. Now, there are two slots in the back side where you can see this um, where you can see this hex shape. This is for a nut to fit into, which is also supplied by uh, Hobby Design. 
Um, that's a little bag there with some threaded rod and some nuts. So this is actually the back side. Now you can see there are three holes. There's two on this side and there's one on this side. Both sides, the bottom hole is what locates is what locates into the hobby design part. So uh, if you can see that, there are two little tabs on the bottom. Those two little tabs go into there. So you can see that's just dry fit. That's just sitting on there. Um, always test fit everything first before you glue anything. Um, but that shows that you're using um, both of those bottom lugs there. So the top hole that's still open is going to be for uh, one of the calipers to slot into. Now that is for the uh, the parking brake. So that is the, I think it's the wrong one, it's that one. That will basically just fit into that slot there. Now you can see that uh, that's pretty easy so we're just going to glue that in place and then the front side you have this slot here so this is for the uh, larger brake caliper so again that will just glue into the slot uh, and you just reverse that procedure for the other one so that's basically how the hobby design calipers uh, glue into the uh, hobby design hub Actually, we'll just do that now. So again, I'm using the Bob Smith Industries uh, Super Gold Plus. I find this really good for resin parts as well. So we don't need a ton of glue in there. And then we'll just push it into that slot. Just make sure when you're setting it up that it is square to the hub. And the, these ones... Uh, And we'll just let that sit in there and we'll let that dry. Just hold it there. It's around five to five to twenty seconds with this Bob Smith glue just for it to grab. Now this is really the only other part of the hobby design kit um, that really has to has that you have to modify from the auto art model. As I say, just the rear bumper bar is is really the only part of this kit that requires any uh, any bit of effort to make it fit the rest of it's pretty easy so that's a nice tight fit that'll hold itself in there and that gives you the uh, the rear hub with the front caliper and the rear parking brake caliper so we'll just we'll just do that with the other side as well it's actually the top hole a little bit of glue in there and just push that into the hole well, that matches the other one a little bit of glue in there and just push the pin into that Now I just always check my other one just to make sure that I've got the angles set at the same way just before the glue grabs too much. Just make sure it's sitting in there straight. I just find it easier to glue these hubs together um, and then paint it. It just gives you a bit more to hold on to rather than trying to just hold on to the little calipers. So that's the two hubs for the rear with the uh, with the new calipers glued on. So as I say, it's easier to hold these larger pieces. Um, I just use spray cans, Tamiya spray cans to colour these. Um, and then yeah, they're ready to glue into the, the rear section. Now let's move on to the front. So the front section is the same as well. We've basically got a new part from Hobby Design, which is the top section. And we're just going to use the rear, the bottom side plastic section. So this one's got two screws in it. So if we just uh, take those two screws out,
And I've also already just cut the ends off the steering rod so I can pull that out. So we're keeping the steering rod, so keep that. And then if we pull that top section off, you'll see that the, the auto art wheel hubs are attached to the wheels uh, and we'll just remove those together. So we're actually not going to use those either. You can save those for another model or do a wheel swap on a black model Huracan. Uh, so we'll get rid of those as well. Now as you can see, this is the bottom section of the auto art model. Uh, that's the top section of the auto art model. And this is the Hobby Design supplied piece. So this piece from Hobby Design replaces the top section. So we don't need that. And this will actually just fit back on to the auto art piece. And then this is where the, the other shape hubs, these are the front hubs from Hobby Design. These have a little arm on them which uh, allows you to put the steering rack back in uh, and the brake calipers will join onto these as well. So these are just going to fit in situ where the auto art ones did. So this is your replacement front hub. Your steering rack will attach to it just like the auto art did uh, and then we'll fit the new rotors and calipers from Hobby Design onto these hubs. So we'll just take that out for a second and these are the bigger uh, calipers. So these are the front. So we've got the four calipers and we've got the two Hobby Design hubs. So again we're just going to glue the calipers onto the new hubs. So you can actually see there's a little checkout piece here and that is going to glue into there. You can see the stem on the brake caliper there. That will actually just glue into there. So we'll just add a bit of glue. We don't need a lot because it's very strong glue. And then we'll just hold that for a few seconds. Now as you can see, I'm not sure whether you can see that, it is on a bit of an angle, it's, it's supposed to be on a little bit of an angle. Um, as I say, just always dry fit these parts first, just so that you can, uh, you're aware of how it's supposed to sit and how it's supposed to end up, uh, and you can't go wrong. So that's what I mean about when you hold the, uh, the hub straight up and down, you can see that caliper is on an angle. Uh, that's how the auto art ones are also. Only a slight angle, but ne nevertheless an angle. So if we do that to the front one, to the other side, again a little bit of glue. And we'll just hold that in place as well until it, until it dries. That's the one good thing about these hobby design kits is that they do give you all these uh, new hubs and brake calipers. Um, I really like that about the kits. Super detailed uh, and it makes the job so much easier. So they are quite well engineered also to replace all these auto art parts. Um, very impressive. Okay, so they're quite dry now. Um, now the other part we have to do with the kit, uh, which is also supplied, Hobby Design give you these uh, photo etched uh, brake rotor faces uh, and there's actually four pieces uh, in the kit as well which are resin which are the backing plates which are in black resin. Uh, now the front ones have actually got an F on it for front and the smaller ones have R on it for rear. Uh, so I just basically use uh, a little bit of the Bob Smith Industries glue uh, and just basically stick those together so that actually forms your brake rotor. Um, photo etch part on the front with all the little holes in it um, and they basically just slip in between uh, the calipers so I've just got that one sitting in there now uh, before I paint it uh, and the fronts are, are very similar as well so uh, let me just grab the front one um, that will actually just slip straight inside the caliper like so uh, and the hex shape in that is actually to fit behind the front wheel so the front wheel actually has a a hex shape on it uh, and you can see that there so um, yeah that's how it sits so 
what we can do next is actually uh, paint these so uh, I'll just go outside if the weather's okay and um, put a coat of paint on these I'm going to make the calipers red on this uh, this version uh, it has the red interior as well so we'll go with the the red brake calipers on this one um, and as I say it's just easier to paint them because I can hold on to that hub paint the calipers that I want the color I want and then I can just hand paint the hubs in matte black paint um, so I'll go ahead and um, paint those calipers up and then I'll rejoin you oh and also uh, I'm going to paint these two um, the brake calipers so uh, if the car was running a, a, a steel brake rotor then I'd leave them this silver color um, but a lot of the Hurricanes actually have the option to fit the carbon ceramic brakes in that case I'll just spray these with a with a gunmetal um, a Tamiya gunmetal spray can um, no need for a gloss finish or anything like that um, it's just supposed to be a matte finish so I'll paint these as well while I'm at it um, just because I want the car to to look like it's got carbon ceramic brakes on it so once these uh, once these parts are painted we can then actually put the hubs together um, and we can put them back into the carriers so uh, I'll go and paint these brake calipers uh, and then I'll show you how to uh, fit all the front hub assemblies back together again okay so I've painted up the uh, brake calipers and the hubs as you can see here there's the rear ones there's the front ones um, I've just painted these with a Tamiya uh, bright red spray can uh, and I've also added some little Lamborghini decals as well uh, now those ones if you're interested uh, there's a seller on eBay called Global Toy uh, and they sell these decal sheets which have got tons of different brands on there um, they're really cheap and you get a lot out of them so that's a good uh, good tip now the brake rotors I've um, just sprayed those in the gunmetal as I mentioned uh, and I've also glued on uh, the center the center ring as well which is part of the hobby design kit so uh, there's another one there you can see they come on the same metal uh, etched as the uh, name plate um, and you can just uh, sand off the little raised bumps of these bolts uh, and just be careful when you glue them onto the rotor that you center uh, center them so that the the wheel will fit so they will just basically go uh, behind the wheel so you can see the uh, the black ring with the silver bolts uh, on the gunmetal uh, brake rotor. So that's that part done. Uh, next thing is with those threaded rods that I showed you earlier. So uh, the longer ones go in the front wheels. Now I tried to thread these ones in there, but it appears that they just uh, fit into the hole. So I've I've glued these rods in with some Bob Smith Industries Maxi Cure glue. Um, so they're the ones in the front and the short uh, threaded rods go into the back wheels um, now they are actually going to thread into the back of the hubs um, so in the same bag you get these four little silver nuts um, they have recess holes in the back of the hubs here and I just glue those in there so uh, when the actual uh, wheel goes on it goes through the hole and it threads into the nut so that's how the wheel fixes on um, going by that method it appears that the wheels will not spin if you uh, try and turn the wheel in anti-clockwise it will wind itself back out of the nut so it looks like the the wheels are going to be fixed on this model uh, that's not a large concern for me um, but it still will have steering on the model now I've reassembled uh, one of the rear hubs already this is uh, another DMC build that I'm doing for someone else um, and obviously that's why it has a white caliper on here um, but you can see how that hub has just been glued on to the end of the carrier so um, really quite easy the way that goes together um, as I say just mock everything up um, first without glue just so you know how it's going to go together uh, and then when you're confident um, just glue it together so that's the hobby design uh, resin part that comes with the kit which is that piece there um, and we're reusing the auto art bottom section so that just screws together with the auto art screw uh, and that's ready to fit the uh, brake rotors and the wheels onto it so that's the rear part and then I've also reassembled the front part also um, 
as you can see there's the standard auto art one with the wheels on it still uh, and this is the uh, new hobby design front hubs uh, I've just reattached the steering linkage so you can see that we've still got steering on the model uh, and again this is basically ready um, to fit the wheels so it's basically exactly the same as the rear uh, we're reusing the auto art bottom piece uh, and we're reuse uh, we're actually using this top piece is the hobby design piece so the front and the rears are the same the top pieces uh, are the resin parts from hobby design the underside pieces are the standard auto art pieces so that's basically how they go together so um, just use your auto art piece as a guide just so that you can make sure that the brake rotors are on the same side uh, and that it assembles back exactly the same as the auto art version then it's just a matter of putting the wheels and the brake rotors on so uh, I found the easiest way is to sit the brake rotor uh, onto the hub there center the hole uh, and then with the uh, the narrower wheel with the longer rod just feed that threaded rod through and just turn the wheel uh, until it threads all the way into uh, the nut on the back and that's it you have your steerable front wheel uh, and you've got your brake rotor you can see that does it does turn so there is going to be a little bit of movement there but just be aware that as I say if you unwind that all the way anti-clockwise uh, it the screw is going to come out of the nut at the back so that's basically it so that's how you put the wheels on front and rear and then that's basically uh, ready to screw back into the chassis when you've finished all four wheels so that's basically it I'm going to um, just keep reassembling a few more bits and pieces um, and then we can uh, screw the floor back into the model because the wheel carrier goes into that so we'll put, we'll We'll, we'll screw the floor back into the model uh, and then we'll be able to actually uh, screw the wheel carriers back into the chassis so um, I'll just do the last couple of bits and pieces um, and get this back into the body uh, and then the last thing we have to do is to fit all the aero parts okay so I've finally got the wheels together for this particular model um, so these are ready to screw into the into the model now I have uh, screwed the floor back into the model which was really basic and straightforward uh, there was only a couple of screws either side one at the front and one in the rear also um, so that's ready to actually um, put the wheels in so we'll get the piece of foam there uh, we'll start with the rear rear assembly so this is the the rear wheels these L-shaped pieces uh, go towards the front as I say just follow the uh, the uh, disassembly video um, and you will be able to see uh, the order in which they go back together again so if I just dig the screws out we've got short screws for the front axle and long screws for the back axle so we won't mix those ones up and they just basically screw back into those original holes so not too hard we'll get the back one in there so it's really starting to come together this model it's not the most complex of the hobby design builds um, but it is quite a good looking model now the front wheel assembly uh, you do have this pickup point which is for the steering linkage um, so just make sure that the wheels are, um, are parallel uh, and also it, go, it feeds into that little slot uh, there so just make sure that the steering wheel inside the cabin of the car is straight um, you can see there just make sure that that's straight because it does turn if it turns it's going to make your job difficult to line up the steering linkage so because it's only got to fit in that little little slim gap so just make sure that goes down into that hole 
and there's a couple of lugs there that it will squeeze onto. I always just dry fit everything first just to make sure, test fit to make sure that it's going to go in uh, and then you can just put the screws back in. So they're only short screws for the front, it doesn't take much to put them in place. And that's it. So that's the front wheel in now. As you can see, it still has the steering uh, and still does move the steering wheel. Um, and the rear ones are in there also. So really starting to come together this model. Uh, I think it's starting to look really cool. Um, now the only thing we have to do is to, as I mentioned, do the aero parts. So the aero parts um, are reasonably straightforward. Most of it's gluing. So we've got the uh, front splitter piece which is going to glue on uh, underneath. Now you've just got to watch these little side pieces. They're quite delicate um, and they can get hooked into the front air vents. So uh, I just basically use my fingers just to guide those and push those back and this will just line up here. Um, but I forgot we've actually got to mount the floor uh, first. So we're not going to do the rear diffuser yet. We're going to screw the, the floor, floor piece back in. Um, so that just basically goes in like so. Uh, and we've just got a series of screws also for that. Now, we're not going to put the side, the side ones in here um, because the aero parts actually fit into that hole. So if we can get these screws out of my box. These are all the same size. And what we'll do, we'll start with the, the front hole. So we'll put the front screws in just to get those lock in. As I've mentioned before, I think these composite models from AutoArt now are actually a lot easier to pull apart and put together than the um, die-cast versions. I think now they're uh, actually using uh, more screws to screw things together rather than press fits uh, and we'll put this one in the back as well the back of the floor and that's screwed it in so we're not going to put these two side screws in here now um, and I'll show you why in a minute so so that's basically the model is nearly a hundred percent back together again other than the aero parts so just get rid of those two screws and that bit of paper. Now as I mentioned the uh, front diffuser is just going to glue in place so this will just slip over the front. I'll try and hold this and show you guys at the same time. See, I don't know whether you can see that. So it does, it, the front splitter does protrude out a little bit from the front um, and these little side fins just stop at the edge of the scoops. So I'm just going to go ahead and actually apply some glue. Um, I'll use the Bob Smith Industries glue, uh, the MaxiCure, the pink version. And we're just actually going to put it on the splitter. Um, so you can see there's actually, a, there's actually a faint line here along here. So that line sits on the edge of the uh, auto art bodywork so I just apply some glue just on the back section where I know it's going to stick to the the floor. I just do drops I don't want to do a huge big bead of glue because it just doesn't need it. So that's the glue on there and just be careful you don't get it on your fingers and then handle the body because then you will put uh, glue marks on the body. So I'm just lining it up with the back edges first. That's why I use my block of foam so I can actually hold it in place and just rotate the model so I can check check the overhangs and make sure that I've got it in the right position. So that's pretty close. So we've just got to hold that for 15 to 20 seconds and let the glue dry. Okay, so next part is the side sills. So these are really basic. 
in fitting. Now, I mentioned before not to fit these two screws uh, because the uh, Hobby Design side sill aero extension uh, has a little uh, raised lug here which actually fits into that hole. So um, you can actually put a screw back in there but the screws that came with the model won't be long enough. If you have some other screws, um, longer ones, you can put those in there. But that's pretty much just to uh, guide to where that sits in there. So they also have a groove uh, molded into these side sill extensions. Now the actual sill of the model fits into that groove so that will keep the uh, side sill ex extension straight. So it's really just a matter of putting a couple of dobs of glue. Uh, I just put it on the wide section on the floor. Probably go with three dobs. As I say, you don't need a lot with this Bob Smith Industries glue, it's very strong. Uh, and just locate that lug back in, just so I can handle the model. I'll actually put some pieces of masking tape on here just to, just to hold it in place until the glue goes off. That way I can keep working on other things. I'm going to just make sure, probably just grab the model, flip that over. Uh, and just make sure you've got the same amount of overhang through there. Um, if you follow the lines on the floor, um, it will be straight. So when you dry fit this piece on here, there are some molded in lines on the floor here. Um, just run it in line with those and that'll be straight. So again, just three, three large-ish dobs of glue. And then locate that hole into the auto art hole, line it up straight and again I'll just put a couple of pieces of tape on it just so I don't have to keep holding that down uh, and I can show you the next step. Won't take too long for that glue to go off anyway so and again I'll just check it make sure that it, it is parallel And that's pretty parallel. Okay, so they're glued and dried in place. Um, and that is the side seal extensions onto the model. So uh, very easy, that part. Now we've only got two parts left. We've got the uh, rear diffuser, uh, which goes on here, uh, and the rear wing. So we'll tackle the rear diffuser next. So what we need to do with that one, uh, we have to reuse the exhaust system that we pulled off the factory bumper bar. So the factory bumper bar uh, just has the uh, exhaust system pressed through like that. Um, I just used a flat blade screwdriver just to pry the exhaust system apart. Uh, as I say, we're not using the uh, auto art rear diffuser as we have the hobby design one for that which has the uh, aero diffuser on the bottom of it as well so all i've done here with this hobby design part uh, there's a couple of photo etched uh, mesh pieces uh, that come in the kit i've just painted those matte black and glued those on uh, and then the I'll just get that out of the way and then the exhaust system uh, just glues back into the same way as it did on the auto art version so that little chrome pin just goes into that little black dot so we'll just put some glue in there not a lot and we'll just feed those exhaust system tips back through the rear diffuser uh, and we'll just hold that until it glues now that's exactly the same as how the auto art version uh, went on uh, if you want to paint your exhaust tips a different colour you can do that also and you may also notice that I've got the uh, DMC Huracan number plate on the model as well. Now that comes with the uh, hobby design kit also. I'll just put that aside for a minute and let that go off. Uh, they actually came come on the, um, the same photo etch piece that has the uh, nameplate, um, a little trick I'll show you how to do it, they just fully 
uh, fully metal, so I actually paint the whole number plate in uh, matte black. Uh, and then my little trick to make the letters shiny or to remove the paint, uh, I just make my own sanding sticks. So I just use an ice cream stick uh, and I just glue little strips of sandpaper on there. And if you hold the metal etch part flat and you rub the sanding stick across the top, it will actually remove all the paint from the raised letters and the metal edges as well. Now you can also do that with a lot of other things. A lot of modelers already know this trick, but if you don't, uh, there's a new, a new repertoire for you. Uh, so that's it. So that is how you get the black number plate background and you can do it with any color, it doesn't have to be black uh, and just use that sanding stick and it will take all the paint off the raised letters and the edge and then that gives you your, you can cut it out uh, and that gives you your little DMC Hurricane number plate. So you can do that with all the hobby design kits, uh, they all have metal etch pieces, little number plate IDs for the cars, so that's really a quite, quite a neat little trick. Okay, so that is the exhaust system glued into the uh, Hobby Design rear diffuser. So that's ready to glue back onto the body. Now, it basically fits on the same way as the factory one did. So uh, you can see it meets nicely up with the rear diffuser. Uh, I mean the rear floor of the model. So I will actually put a few drops of glue around this edge so that uh, it will actually... Uh, glue to the floor as well um, and it's really just the sides here of the uh, the resin bumper bar so where it lips up I'll try and hold this at a different angle if we glue that on here you can see where the uh, rear bumper bar joins onto the painted body uh, there's a little tab there I'm just going to put some glue on those little tabs just be careful when you're handling the body now with all the aero parts that uh, you don't break them off with your finger pressure. So a couple of little bits of glue on the side. I will just put a couple of other dobs there along that tab and then some on the floor as I mentioned because I want that to get a good glue bond to the floor. And sit the exhaust system up underneath it. And you're putting pressure on the bumper bar to glue that joint there. And I want that against the floor as well. Uh, it fits quite well. So that's the rear diffuser on. Uh, so now all we have to do is the rear wing. Now the rear wing is made up of three pieces, so you have the wing blade that comes in the kit uh, and you've got the little uh, resin wing legs as well. Uh, now these actually have a little, uh, a little tab in the centre. Um, that's to drill some holes in the rear bodywork and sit those little holes in there. Uh, I'm choosing not to glue it on that way, um, just in case I have a mishap with the drill and that it's going to, it's going to ruin the model and the paint. So. Uh, I've just cut the little tabs off. Uh, there's a little, a little tab in the center of that wing leg um, at the bottom here in the middle. I've just cut those off. So I'm just going to glue this straight onto the body. Uh, now, as you notice, I have actually uh, laid this with some carbon fiber decal uh, and I've given it four really thick coats of automotive clear coat. Uh, it's come, come out really nice. Uh, maybe you can see it there. Um, so basically I'm going to glue that just straight onto the rear of the car. Now, you might want to put a piece of masking tape across the back of the car, uh, sit it on there first and mark where the wing legs are so that you get the, the wing even in the centre. Um, I've done this a lot so I don't need to do that. Uh, so I'm just going to apply some glue to the bottom of those wing legs and actually glue it in place. Now with a job like this, I don't just apply glue straight out of the bottle onto the wing legs. Uh, you're just going to get a ton of surplus everywhere. So I'm just using an old business card. I'm just going to put some Bob Smith Industries glue on that card. And I'm going to use a toothpick to apply the glue 
let me just move the model out of the way. Um, I find this is the best way for any small parts. So just put a bit of glue on the toothpick and then wipe it along the edges of the bottom of the wing leg. That way you're getting the glue exactly where it's got to go uh, and you don't have surplus so it's going to ooze out everywhere. You can always wipe a bit more off with the toothpick as well. So this wing leg actually has a little piece that extends down the back as well. Um, so I'm putting it a bit of glue on those bits as well. And if you see it looks like there's a bit too much, um, just take a bit of some of that glue off. But as I say, the more glue you have on there, uh, the more it's just going to squish out the sides. And then just carefully use your index marks with the masking tape if you need that. And you're just going to hold it in place uh, until the glue goes off. And that is the last aero part of this uh, DMC kit from Hobby Design to go on to this Auto Art Lamborghini Huracan. It's been a reasonably straightforward build compared to some of the other builds I've done over the last year. Uh, it's not super hard. Um, and as I say, if you've already seen the video of the white DMC Hurricane that I've already published on YouTube, you will have noticed that I didn't fit the resin rib bumper bar on that model. Uh, that was just fixing all the straight aero parts, brakes and wheels onto a stock Hurricane. So I'll show you that model in a minute again with this one, just to show you the difference. Uh, and I'll just sort of let that sit. But that's, that's basically the wing in place. So you can see how the wing legs at the back, they just extend down. Maybe you can't, it's a bit hard with this color. Um, yeah, you can see the little wing legs here extend down the back of the car. So um, really easy to get a good glue bond there. Um, so that is basically it. Uh, I've already applied some of the uh, metal decals that come with the Hobby Design Kit. You've got the LP lo logos on the side, the little Lamborghini script badge on the back. Um, and yeah, overall, um, that is how to build the Hobby Design Lamborghini DMC Huracan. Uh, I'll just go and grab the other white one out of the display case. Um, and I'll bring that and I'll just show you some of the differences uh, between the two models. And I also just, uh, when I finish these models, I give them a little bit of a clean up as well. Um, just with my uh, Tamiya polishing cloths. So I usually just give them a bit of a clean up. Uh, you can actually use the Tamiya fine polish and go over it as well might take any finger marks, light scuffs on the windows. Um, but yeah, that's the best way to give them a clean. Uh, and also if you're interested, another way to clean your models um, is with these really soft brush. Now this is a, this is a women's uh, makeup brush. It has really soft bristles on it. Uh, I bought this for just a couple of dollars and these are fantastic for dusting your models down. Um, they won't scratch because they're super, super soft. So. I uh, highly recommend to get one of those for your collection as well, keep them nice and clean. So I'll just go and grab the white one and uh, I'll bring that in. Okay, so here are my two uh, DMC Huracans. So um, this is the one we've just finished, which has been the subject of the tutorial. Um, it's painted in a Zero Paints uh, purple to green chameleon colour. Uh, really happy with how this colour came out, it looks really, really good. Um, and I decided since this had the red seats, um, I'd do red calipers as well and the silver wheels. So I think it's a really nice contrasting colour combination. Uh, all the aero parts I've painted in the satin black, uh, but I've done full carbon fibre and full gloss on the rear wing as well. Now this one we did actually do the resin rear bumper bar from Hobby Design, which has the DMC logo in it. Um, but as I said, it is possible to build this Hobby Design resin kit without the rear bumper bar, which is why I built this white one. So you can see that this is just the standard um, 
this is the standard body from auto art this is a I have not cut or replaced this this is just the factory part this was just to show you that uh, you can still fit all of the hobby design parts onto the factory auto art body uh, and I have seen pictures on the internet of real Lamborghini Huracans that have this full DMC body kit fitted uh, and they don't have that DMC rear bumper bar so that must be a, another option with DMC um, but as you can see uh, it really turns the standard auto art model into a really stunning uh, vehicle as I mentioned this one has all the full carbon fiber parts so carbon fiber rear wing the whole rear diffuser the whole rear diffuser was wrapped in carbon fiber decals which took a couple of hours uh, the side sills are all carbon fiber uh, and the front splitter is all carbon fiber also uh, decided to do white brake calipers on this model to match the uh, to match the bodywork uh, and I went with a carbon grey on the wheels to match all the carbon parts. So that is the Hobby Design DMC Lamborghini Huracan Resin Trans Kit. Uh, I highly re recommend uh, to give these Hobby Design kits a go. Um, I I'm a big fan, I must admit, of their uh, kits. I've been building custom models for a very long time uh, and they're a really really fantastic product uh, and the results are just awesome um, they're so well engineered they're all 3d design and printed parts uh, they fit the the auto art model perfectly uh, and well just look at that i mean uh, it looks so much better than the standard hurricane in my opinion uh, even though i love the hurricane um, and it still is a fully opening model so uh, in the world of all the uh, sealed resin models these days um, to have an exciting modified model that completely opens up is just an absolute bonus and a treat so that's it I will do a, uh, a separate video in the custom model series um, with this chameleon uh, finished model on the turntable so you can have a closer look at it um, and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video series of how to build the Hobby Design DMC Lamborghini Huracan. Uh, stay tuned, we'll be starting the uh, or continuing on with the Liberty Walk Audi R8 build next. Uh, I'll get into that in the next week. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do. Uh, don't forget to smash that like button um, and don't forget to click the bell notification also. Um, just so that you get all the latest video uploads um, and if, you, if you're not already aware uh, I do have a Facebook page now called Rob's Model Cars um, I do uh, updates, news, sneak peeks of these model builds before I uh, have a chance to get the videos uploaded to YouTube um, so you can jump on there, join the conversation and uh, see what's coming ahead uh, on this YouTube channel, Rob's Model Cars. So thanks to everyone for your support. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this how-to series uh, of how to build this hobby design uh, DMC Lamborghini Huracan. Um, I enjoyed this one. It's time to move on to the next one. Uh, so stay tuned. Uh, I've got a couple more model reviews coming out in the next um, in the next week. Uh, so stay tuned for those. And I've just ordered a few new models as well, which are on the way. So. Uh, if you follow the Facebook page, Rob's Model Cars, uh, you will have already known about those purchases. Um, so again, thanks for watching this series and thanks for watching Rob's Model Cars.